Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will discuss counter input channel of NIUSP6009. We will use opto coupler module with slot or you can say that opto coupler module with groove to understand the basics of NIUSP6009 counter input channel. Now let's discuss some parameters related to the sensor. The groove or slot width in the sensor is about 5 mm. There are LEDs for power and sensor output. This sensor gives output in the form of digital waveform that is either low output or high output. When there is an opaque object in the groove, sensor will give high output and output LED will light up. When there is no object in the groove, sensor will give low output and output LED will switch off. Operating voltage or input voltage or excitation voltage or VCC of this sensor is 3.3 to 5 volt. Some of the applications of the sensor include motor speed detection, motor position detection, especially for stepper motors and pulse count. So this is optocoupler sensor. It has four legs. The rightmost leg is VCC or input voltage. Then we have ground followed by digital output and analog output. In this video, we will use analog output of the sensor. This is light emitter of the sensor whereas this one is the light receiver. When there is an opaque object in the groove, sensor will give high output and output LED will light up. When there is no object in the groove, sensor will give low output and output LED will switch off. So now we will connect the wires to the sensor. We will connect the orange wire to the VCC or excitation voltage or input voltage pin which is the rightmost pin of the sensor yellow cable to the ground pin of the sensor and blue wire to analog output pin which is the leftmost pin of the sensor we will not use the digital output pin in this video the next step is to connect the wires with the suitable channels of NIUSB6009 the orange wire will go to the plus 5 volt constant voltage supply channel yellow wire will go to ground channel in the end blue wire will go to the PFIO which is counter input channel of NIUSB6009 so now we will connect the deck card with the computer system and do the required programming in lab view so you have to go to the block diagram right click then go to the express category input and then drag the DAC assistant on the block diagram. We have to go to the acquire signal, then counter input, and then select the edge count because we are counting the edge. And finally, we have to select the counter zero channel, which is PFIO, and click the finish button. We will use the falling edge as an active edge. We will start the count with 0 and we will count in the upper direction. So this is PFIO channel which we will use for counting. We have to click the OK button. Now we will attach a numeric indicator to display the number of counts. We will adjust the size of this numeric indicator so that it can be easily visible to you guys. So now we will run the program. So the sensor is giving 0 volt at this point of time. When the card is inserted, it gives 5 volt and when the card is removed, the voltage reduced to zero once again. So in this way, this sensor is actually reading the falling edge of a digital waveform which is created by this sensor. 